Welcome everyone, I'm Iris, and I'm with the customer success team here at Badger Maps. Badger makes your life easier by optimizing your daily routes and helping you to plan and schedule so that you can focus on what matters most, selling. Most of our customers drive 20% less by optimizing their routes with Badger. This makes them meet with 9 to 10 more prospects per week, which usually translates into an increase of 25% in sales. If you haven't done it yet, you can sign up for a free trial here. You can get up to 14 days to test out the app for free. You can also download our iPhone and Android apps, or you can search for them on the Google Play and Apple Store. They're extremely helpful when you're on the road since they allow you to navigate to all your appointments and create check-ins on the fly. After creating your Badger account and logging in with your credentials, you'll need to import your customer data into the system. You can either do it yourself by clicking here, or you can send your spreadsheet to us so that we can format and upload it for you free of charge. Uploading an Excel file is usually the quickest way to import your accounts to Badger, but there's also an option to connect it to your Salesforce account. If you have questions about CRM integrations, our support team will be happy to help you. After all your data is correctly imported onto the map, you'll be ready to start working with Badger. On the left-hand side, you'll see the main menu, where you'll get a quick view of all the different features. You'll be able to move around the map by dragging it with your mouse, and you can also zoom in and out by scrolling up and down or by using these controls up here. If you want to access the street view, click and drag the little yellow guy here and place him wherever you want. Once you're on the street view, you can also move around with your mouse and zoom in and out. On the bottom left-hand corner, you can activate the different map layers. Switch on traffic to see real-time traffic data on the map. You can also activate the satellite view to see how your territory looks like. There's an option to divide the map into different zip code areas. To see the areas that share the first three digits, click here. And to see full zip code areas, click here. Finally, toggle on points of interest to see the landmarks around you. This button will show you your current location on the map. You are the little blue dot here. Let's now check how each feature works and how you can make the most of Badger. First up, Accounts. After you've imported your prospects and customers to Badger, you'll see them in alphabetical order under the Accounts tab. Scroll down or search for the account you're interested in. Click on it and it'll be located on the map. At the same time, a window will open on the right-hand side with the account details. These little gray pencils allow you to edit any account detail. Under the Location tab, you'll see the exact address of an account with the option to get a street view of it. You can also edit these addresses if you need to. Your account will be relocated on the map. You'll also find a notepad where you can write any relevant information you find out about your accounts. For example, you can take a note on your prospect's birthday, their contact information, or even their hobbies. These kinds of details are really helpful to build relationships with your prospects. Finally, you'll find a tab called History where you'll see all the check-ins created for that account in chronological order. Note that down here, you have the option to create a new check-in together with add account to root and locate on map. If you're on the business planner above, you have the option to export all of your accounts. Just go to the reports tab, select accounts, and click on export accounts. You'll receive an email with a link to download all your data, which will expire in an hour to protect your data privacy. If you'd like to start fresh and reset your account, Go to Settings, and under Data Management, click on Reset Your Account. We'll ask you to type the confirmation code just in case you clicked on it by accident. Please note that resetting your account is a destructive action, and it can't be undone. Now that you know how to use accounts, let's look at the next feature, which is Visualize. Under the Visualize tab, you'll find the option to either colorize or filter your accounts. Both options allow you to have a customized view of your territory and see the accounts you're most interested in at all times. With this feature, you can easily organize and segment your accounts before making any changes, like creating routes and updating account information. Select Colorize to see your pins in different colors based on the fields associated with the account details. You'll be able to see the bigger picture of your accounts at a glance without looking through lines of data. For example, Let's say you've created a filter called Priority with the values High, Medium, and Low. By clicking on it under the Colorize tab, you'll see your pins in three different colors depending on the value that's assigned to them. You'll know where your best opportunities are and you can target the right accounts at the right time. 
use filter to sort and narrow down accounts you want to see on your map. You can use your existing filters and toggle off the values that you're not interested in. Let's say you only want to visualize high priority accounts. You would toggle off those with medium and low to stop seeing them on the map. This allows you to focus on the locations of your key accounts. If you want to narrow down your results more, you can have multiple filters active at the same time. Note that when filters are active, you'll see this flag here that says filters active. If you ever notice that not all of your accounts are showing up on the map, make sure to check if this is active and if so, go ahead and reset your filters here. The filters days since last check-in and follow-up date are created in your account by default. The first one is a numeric field that keeps track of your check-ins and colorizes your accounts in different shades, from yellow to dark red, depending on when you last visited each account. This way, you can see that if some of your pins come up in dark red, it's time for a follow-up. Follow-up date is a filter that helps you plan and keep track of your follow-ups. Enter the date that you would like to follow up with each customer, and you'll be able to see the pins on the map in different colors depending on how far in time your follow-up dates are. You'll see in light yellow, those accounts you need to follow up with soon, and in a darker shade of red, those that require a follow-up on a later date. All the other filters are created by you, which enables a high degree of customization. There are two different ways to create a new filter. Note that the option to manually create, edit, and delete fields is not available for team settings. If you're on a team, you'll have a dedicated account manager to customize your fields for you. The first and easiest way to create fields is with a spreadsheet. This way, new filters will be created at the same time you import all of your accounts into Badger. To do this, you need to create a new column in your spreadsheet. Add the field name as the new columns header. Under your new header, add values from your field in the rows of the accounts that they're associated with. For example, if your new header is purchasing stage, add the status of that prospect or customer in the correct row under that header. Once you import the spreadsheet into Badger, these column headers will turn into filters that'll contain all the values you assign to each of them. You can also create new fields manually in Badger. To do this, go to Settings and then Manage Fields. Scroll to the bottom of this new window. Click on Add New Field and type in the name of the filter. You'll need to choose the filter type, text or numeric. Then you can save it and change the position of this filter or of any of the other filters. Now you can start assigning values to your new filter. You can do this account by account under account details or create a new value for multiple accounts using the lasso tool. This tool allows you to mass update a big number of accounts so that you can edit or assign any values. To delete a field, go back to Manage Fields, look for the filter you want to remove from the system, and click on Delete. There you go, it's that simple. Let's look at the next feature, which is Follow-ups tab. Remember the follow-up dates that we set up in the filter section? Every time you update your account's information with the follow-up date, it will automatically be added to your list of upcoming follow-ups, which you can see in the Follow-ups tab. Here, you can see a list with the customers and prospects that you need to follow up with. You can either directly add these accounts to your route or create a check-in. If you've missed a follow-up date, you can check them out too in the Past Due tab. It's never too late to follow up, so just pick up the phone. Hit the Done button after you've successfully followed up with that lead. Nice work! You'll never miss another follow up. Now let's see how you can use the Places feature, which is a lead generation tool to find new leads in your territory. So first, go to the area where you'd like to search for new leads. Go to the search box and type whatever keyword you're interested in. We'll try doctors here but you could also do specific types of doctors. For example, you could type dermatology or endocrinology. You could even type tire store or Italian restaurants if you sell tires or pasta. It's really whatever works for your industry. Click on save or press enter to save the place and see the results on your map. 
the pins will show as little blue bubbles on the map. Then you can click on any of these bubbles and you'll be able to see the name of the business. You can see a little down arrow here that shows that there are more options available. If you click on the name, it'll show you the phone number, the address, the hours of operation, and the website of this lead. You'll also see the options Add to Route, Add to Accounts, and Locate on Map. If you click on Add to Route, it'll add the point to your current route. If you click on Add Accounts, it'll save this lead as an account. By doing this, you can make check-ins, write notes, and add it to your route at any time. This will ensure that you can keep track of this pin and won't have to search for it again using the Places tool. Go to Locate on Map to see the exact location of that lead. Another pro tip is that if you want to get more results in a specific area, you can zoom in on that area, redo the search by clicking this button on the map, and you'll see that more blue bubbles pop up. The same thing happens when you move along the map to different areas. You just need to redo the search every time. Now let's move on to one of the most important features, routes. Here, we'll see how to create, optimize, and save routes using Badger. As you know, this is one of the biggest problems Badger solves. It allows you to plan your days on the road in the most efficient way possible. It's hard to schedule your day and plan your routes by using a map, your calendar, and your customer data all in different programs. Badger combines all these elements and allows you to plan your days around your best opportunities and to optimize your time on the road so that you can boost your sales. After filtering your accounts, you're probably seeing on the map only those accounts you're interested in. Now, it's time to create an optimized route to go ahead and visit them. The easiest way to add these pins to your route is by using the lasso tool. You'll see that there's a lasso tool and a radius in this section here. Both of them allow you to draw a line around the points you want to select. The difference is that while with the lasso, you can create a freehand line around the desired points, Radius allows you to draw distant space circles to select the accounts you're interested in based on how far they are from a specific point on the map. Once you've selected them, click on Add to Route and the app will automatically create an optimized route to go from one point to the other. Let's go ahead and add start and end locations. I'm going to enter work and home. After doing this, we'll need to click on optimize and we can see the route on the map is now much better. We can always add new points to the route in different ways. For example, you can click on any pin on the map and select Add to Route on this button. You can also add leads that you find with the Places tool to your route. Remember to always click Optimize after adding new points to get the best route. There's also an easy way of creating routes or adding stops to your current route with route popovers, quick stops, and suggestions. Go to the Add Location popover here to select multiple specific accounts at once to add to your route. Click on Add to Route for every account you want to visit, and then optimize to get the best route to drive to those accounts. You can also add temporary stops that you don't want to add to your accounts, for example, coffee shops, gas stations, or lunch spots, by going to this tab and entering the address here. There's also an option to add suggested accounts to your current route on this section over here. These suggestions are based off of where you're located on the map so that you can quickly add accounts that are close to you. Now, let's say one of these is a fixed appointment that we need to be at during a specific time period. We can click on the time of the meeting and set a specific time. Let's set a start time of 1 p.m. and we'll say the length is 30 minutes. We can see that the appointment shows how late or early we will be based on the current route. If we want to adjust this, we can drag the appointment up or down in the schedule so that we end up on time or early based on the rest of the route. We can now save the route for a specific date and give it a name. You can also make adjustments later through the route popovers, and you can also load it on your iPhone or Android phone once you've saved it. There's an option here to delete the route in case you no longer need it. And, and this button here, you'll find options to download the route as a PDF or GPX or even to send it to your calendar. This way, you'll get reminders on the routes you need to make every day as you can sync Badger with your calendar. You can also delete any saved route by clicking on this red X here. Now, let's take a look at my team. For users on the business plan and above, Badger offers a feature called My Team. 
it allows you to link different accounts reflecting a team hierarchy. Being in a team in Badger allows you and your coworkers to stay connected and aligned at all times. You can check your team's activity, the status of their current accounts, and see everyone's territories with just a few clicks. Another major benefit of being in a team in Badger Maps is the ability to access team activity reports. Reps can quickly get a refresher before any meeting, while team managers are able to access the check-ins of all team members on demand. This means being able to make strategic business decisions quickly. To add a new team member, go to the My Team tab and click on Add Team Member. A form will open up on your screen where you can enter the emails of the new team member you'd like to add. Click on the Add Another Team Member button to add multiple team members at once. You'll immediately have access to that new team member's account and an account specialist will reach out in the next one to two business days to make sure that the accounts are linked together correctly and set up exactly the way you want. You can also lock out a team member by clicking on the lock next to any team member. This removes their access from your team's Badger Maps account. As a manager, you can get the manager view inside a team. This means that you'll be granted access to the territory and routes of the rest of the team members. You'll be able to create or edit the routes or account information of any team member, and you'll also have access to everyone's activity reports. This gives managers the ability to get all the team members on the same page and plan their days for them. But we know that every sales team works differently, so let us know about your preferred setup for your team and we'll create custom team settings for you. Let's dive into the reports feature now. Under reports, you'll find a history of check-ins over a specific time period. You'll also see a graph with the evolution of your check-ins that you can expand and download. If you're on a team, you'll also see the graph with the volume of reports made by each team member over that period. By default, reports show you the last month of check-ins, but you can click here to change the time frame, or you can just select the exact dates you're interested in here. Click on Export Check-ins to get a spreadsheet with all your check-ins within that period. Although you can export them at any time, every Friday, we'll send you a weekly report at 4 p.m. PST with all the check-ins that you've created for that week. Reports allow individual users to keep track of their sales performance, and they can also use them as proof of the work they've done over a period of time. For managers, reports are especially helpful as they allow them to identify sales trends and demographics which means a better understanding of what accounts they should target next. They can also use reports to build an incentive program for reps, for example. You'll get a weekly report of all of your team's activity, which means less administrative work for reps and more time for selling. That's it. Now that you know how to use all the features, you're all set to drive less and sell more using Badger. If you need any more info about any of our features or need to contact our support team, you can reach out to us directly from the app. Click on the Help and Support section down here. You'll find links to our knowledge base articles, tutorial videos, and our contact details. Feel free to email us or call our support team. We're always happy to help you with any questions that you might have. Finally, here's our referral program, which rewards you for bringing more people into the Badger community. It's very simple. You spread the love, you get paid. Send this link to anyone that might be interested in us, and if they purchase Badger, we'll send you a $50 Amazon gift card. This person you refer will also receive $50 in credit towards Badger, so everybody wins. To know exactly how the referral program works, click on this link to read a full description with the conditions and exceptions that apply. You can change any of your current settings in the settings section. Apart from the ones we've already covered, here you can change your current plan or edit any detail on your profile. We're super excited to have you here in the Badger community. If you want to learn more about our mobile apps, click here to watch our iPad and iPhone video walkthroughs. Click here to find our knowledge base, to find detailed articles about every aspect of the app. Thank you so much for watching and happy selling!